If people are singling you out and asking why you're so quiet, and you want to know why, I'm gonna share with you some uh, reasons here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and of course the bell if you want to learn how to socially connect with others. So one of the first things that I really want to touch is that you teach people what your norm is. If you're a very quiet person or you're a very loud person, people usually examine you, look at you, and see what are you typically like. If you don't usually talk, people will assume that you are quiet, that you don't have anything to say. Because why? Because most people, if they don't have anything to say, they don't say anything. And if you're typically someone that is staying really quiet, then people accept the fact that that's who you are. Is that actually who you are? Probably not. You probably have things that you really want to say. You probably are maybe thinking of things in your mind, or sometimes the thoughts are all jumbled, or you just mind goes blank. You want to say something, but you can't say anything. But on the outside, nothing is being said because you look like you're quiet. And that's why people will eventually start to ignore you because they just think you have nothing to say. Sometimes some of these things happen really quickly, maybe even within 5 to 10 seconds of talking to someone. If you're talking to someone and you're giving off the vibe that you're, you're not really talking much and you are not really going and becoming part of the conversation, they will naturally start to turn away from you and shift attention away from you and it will feel like they are ignoring you. So what do you do? You have to interject yourself and say something from time to time when you're part of a group to remind them that you're still there. If you're talking about frequency of how long to say something, sometimes it varies from group size. But you don't want to go on five minutes without saying that single thing. And I'm also not saying that you should respond with one word answers like, hey, cool, yeah, like, that's not really responding. I'm talking about actual whole sentences that you have to interject, rather if it's your comment, opinions, something, so that you are actually part of the conversation. However, one of the other things that I want to mention is that there will always be bullies, no matter like what you do. And I'll talk more about that on my third point. The next point I want to talk about is the expectation of a group is to talk. Before I get started, do you have any questions about talking in groups? Let me know in the comments. I try to respond to as much comments as I can. When people come together, the very basic, the very baseline for why people do things is to communicate. And talking is the very way, basic way of communicating who you are. So it's catching up, updates, sharing about your life. So the expectation is almost you will talk when you're in a group setting. This is kind of like playing basketball. If you're stepping onto the basketball court, People are expecting you to play because people usually don't just step onto the court and watch the whole entire game on the court. If you're on the court, people expect you to participate. And the same thing can be said about group conversations. Very rarely do people come together and do an activity and not talk for like hours and hours. Unless it's maybe like games or studying where you don't actually talk as much. But those activities have a mirror in itself. There's a purpose and there's a goal. And if these things are what you feel like you'll be more comfortable doing, go ahead, uh, go for it, try it out. But these activities, they probably won't help you socially in the long run. This is one of the reasons why people will keep on asking you Oh, do you want to talk more? Do you want to participate? Why are you so quiet? Because you are on the basketball court. And as long as you are on that court, people will want to pass to you because 
they were like, this guy is here to play, right? So getting, being on part of that group conversation is what will get you involved in the first place. And honestly, if you don't know how to play, sometimes people pick on you even more. There was a time when I was <laughs> playing basketball and I stepped onto the court. I pretty much bricked all my shots. I had a lot of turnovers and people literally just stopped passing to me. My own teammates would just pass the ball among themselves and play without me even though I'm on the court. It's very frustrating. It's borderline just embarrassing. Sometimes it is like that with conversations too. If you don't really understand the social skills of what's going on, people will see you as dropping the passes, missing the shots, and they will just not involve you anymore. So this is one of the reasons to develop your social skills, to basically enhance and understand the rules of basketball or social skills. However, if you're feeling like you're really shy and very anxious to begin with, I've also made a video on that. And you can check the descriptions for the video, I'll link it somewhere. So don't worry about that. Now let's talk about bullies. Oh my goodness, I hate bullies. Bullies are super messed up. However, give me anywhere where there is people and there will be bullies. Just like how there are really nice people in the world that are really sacrificial. There will always be jerks and bullies that just want to see people ruin themselves or they're just pranking and then picking on people because it's fun. Is it actually good? No, it's super messed up. Why would you do that? The temporary solution is to have a few close friends, online communities, or learn from classes so that while you are growing in your social skills, you are in a safe environment. However, this is not the permanent solution. Why? Because you can already feel how crippling it is to not being able to be sociable, be able to do daily tasks with anything that involves people. And furthermore, if you're quiet or you seem shy, some people will pick on you because you're an easy target. Like that's what I've experienced doing my times when I was shy. People will just pick on you for no reason. They'll just joke around you. They'll pick on you because they can. Some people will like to have fun while at the expense of others. So the solution for this isn't to find a community where no one ever picks on you because that kind of community just doesn't exist. Part of learning social skills is giving yourself the ability to verbally stand up for yourself, to defend yourself. So when you're talking with other people, you can draw your boundaries. You can say no. You can be able to talk back in a way that's respectful, but still defending who you are. And ultimately, you can't really rely on other people like your family or your close friends to stand up for yourself all the time because they won't be around you all the time. That's why if you're able to cultivate, grow your social skills, it gives you so much advantage or the ability to just do what you want. And that is possible. You just have to take it slow, take it one step at a time. It's very doable and grow it so that you don't have to constantly be struggling with this. If you like this video, please hit that like button and we'll talk more. Stay strong, stay healthy, and keep on going.